Hello friends, hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Welcome back to yet another video of the Football Mania to bring you all the latest news and exciting content from the football world. If you are a fan of Indian football and if you truly believe that Indian football is on the rise, I am sure that each and every one of you would be having your eyes peeled for the events at the King Fahad International Stadium in Saudi Arabia. Yes, my friends, this is the venue where Cristiano Ronaldo, you know, was unveiled and obviously we saw the showdown between Messi and Ronaldo a few days back and it was just an air of expectation around the stadium for the fact that the Santos Trophy semi-finals and the final was to be placed in this venue. And definitely I was expecting a humdinger when it came to the semi-finals because Punjab were facing Meghalaya and services were facing Karnataka and what I expected from both matches was a very very good tactical battle where both teams would like to you know be on the front foot be aggressive and take the game to the opposition and whenever you are playing a game of football that is the most important thing. You need to start especially the first 10 to 15 minutes on the front foot. You are pressing higher up the pitch and you need to give no time and space to the opposition. And this is exactly what Punjab did in the first encounter against Meghalaya. They were very very physical and that is something which we expect from a side like Punjab coming up against the technical team like Meghalaya, I expected a really close battle. And even after Punjab took the lead in this match, I expected twists and turns. And mind you, this was the first ever time that VAR was officially used in a domestic cup competition of Indian football. That just goes to show that this is a stepping stone towards greater milestones in the future. And what Meghalaya did was just outstanding. They were resolute in this match. Even after they were 1-0 behind, they found a way to come back into this match and they left it late for the winner. And eventually, you have to say that when you have grit and determination along with passion and commitment, your team is going to give your 150%. And that is exactly what Meghalaya's head coach got from this team. They were, you know, running off all the scraps. They were winning all the second balls. They were winning their aerial duels. And they showed a lot of grit in terms of showing that character and personality in order to get through this match. And they have entered their first ever Santosh Trophy final, which just goes to show that we are not just relying on West Bengal or Kerala or Goa. There are teams like Meghalaya, especially from the Northeast, who have abundance of talent. And talking about the second semi-final, I expected a really, really close battle once again. However, Karnataka showed their experience. They are a very well-drilled unit under their head coach. And I expected them to be really clinical in front of goal. The first 15 to 20 minutes were really cagey. Both teams were looking to, you know, open up the space through the wings and that is something which was quite interesting in this match because to be honest, this is the, you know, first time I'm watching an Indian football match after probably two or three months and I expected really high intensity and both teams provided that. However, the cutting edge in the final third is what ultimately determines the outcome of the match. And even though services took the lead, you know, I think it was in the 40th minute and it came through a set piece. There was a stroke of fortune in that because the striker was just in front of the goalkeeper and he just had to flick it on either side to put services 1-0 ahead. However, Karnataka did not drop their shoulders. They were in this match and probably two or three minutes later in the first half, you know, they got a free kick on the edge of the penalty box and they rifled it into the top of the goal. You know, it was just an outstanding free kick. You, you see players like James Ward Prowse in the English Premier League take free kicks like that. That is the sheer quality 
the pace, the technique and the curve on the ball just took it away from the goalkeeper and yes, it was not only 1-1, Karnataka took the lead at the stroke of half time. It was a very well worked move from the left hand side and once again, when you are talking about transition, you need to make sure that you as a winger are able to you know move the ball quickly from your own half into the offensive third especially with your dribbling ability and Karnataka has a load of PC wingers they can exploit the wing and even their striker was really clever in making those you know penetrative runs and opening up space for other strikers and midfielders this is where I feel that Karnataka were really clinical they knew when to make the run and they also knew when to track back as a team and if you want to win football matches that is one of the most crucial aspects you need to defend as a team and you need to attack as a team and even in the second half it was you know 2 1 in favor of Karnataka and I expected services to respond because services is a team which never loses hope they would play until the final whistle they were putting in those hard tackles and they wanted to put up a fight against a very very resolute well structured Karnataka however the third goal for Karnataka killed the game and Karnataka are through into the Santosh Trophy final this is the 76th edition of the national football championship and Yes, now it is official. It would be for the first ever time a final between Meghalaya and Karnataka. And both teams are looking quite solid. They play different, you know, setups in terms of their formations. And I expect a really close battle because this is the first time that Santosh Trophy is being played away from India. And it would be a very good sign moving forward because definitely we have seen the implementation of VAR yesterday and for the final as well it would be implemented and for Saudi Arabia in general it is a very good benefit that you know Indian football has come to their country and even for the Indian players or you know promising players who play football in Saudi Arabia they can get that exposure and definitely it is a wonderful sign moving forward. So all in all, I was quite pleased. The stadium was not fully packed, but you saw quality football. And as a fan of Indian football, you need to see quality football. That is all that matters in terms of passing, in terms of movement, in terms of intensity in the game and in terms of passion for the game. If all these checkboxes are ticked, then I as an Indian football fan and you as an Indian football fan would be pleased and you would be supporting Blue Tigers to the death. So guys, it was a fantastic semi-final lineup and I'm expecting a thriller in the final between Meghalaya and Karnataka. I would love to know what are your thoughts, which match did you see and who were your standout players for both teams. Please put your thoughts in the comment section. And if you like this video, please do me a favor, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button because I'll be coming up with a lot more content from the world of football. So until next time, stay safe and take care.